mshikamo watazamaji na karibu katika kipindi kingine cha conversations na kama kawaida conversations ni channel ambayo inakuletea maudhui kuhusu magari kwa njia ya kusisimua na kuvutia I'll be your host ya conversologist Eric Gabi Eric with CK today we are filming from uh, Mombasa tuna tuna, tuna feel uh, saa enough with Kiswahili Today we are filming from uh, Pirzada Motors in Mombasa and talking about Mombasa uh, you know we have not had talking heads for a while and uh, these now at least today we are having something to talk about and it's something that you guys have we, we posted something on our Facebook page and uh, the whole the whole thing is about you know buying a car in Mombasa and there have been both good and very bad stories about buying cars in Mombasa and today that's why we want to talk about what do you have to consider before you buy a car in Mombasa is buying a car in Mombasa safe haya kuna stories a sijui gari na wekwa truckers and uh, you are followed when your car is stolen there is also the, the quality factor and there is also the, the factor of uh, brokers sijui haya pache story mob tu sana and that's why today we want to demystify some of these myths and tell you if you are buying a car from Mombasa what should you really consider number one, or rather elephant is in the room is quality of cars sold in Mombasa kuna watu wanasema gari Mombasa they have zimekunywa maji ya chumvi then the other one that ni gari za ukarabati ni gari mbovu Uh, altered mileage you know these are some of the things that we really need to bring up number one, let's talk about the the salt factor remember any car on kenyan roads chances are if it's not a, a knockdown kit that has been locally assembled it has gone through the port of mombasa and uh, with mombasa we know the salt content uh, in is high humidity manenos so vehicles are prone to rust but that does not mean that the car has to be rusty Yeah, gari lazima yoshwe vizuri. Yes, even when you import a car, once it gets to Nairobi, please wash the car properly. Take it for a proper wash and use soft water when you're washing the car. So, what do you do to ascertain that the car you're buying from Mombasa has not eaten up too much salt? Number one is doing a very good pre-purchase inspection. Inspect the undercarriage, fungua uangali, uone kama iko na rust chini. Also, unaona carpet kama hizi? Unatoa carpet kidogo to make sure it's not rusty. Kwa compartments the spare wheels, all those parts that moisture can settle in. That way you'll be guaranteed you're buying a rust-free vehicle. Ama kama utaona rust itakuwa moderate. And that is why we always advise you guys to try and do a good pre-purchase inspection. Issue number two, gari za ukarabati. Uh, you know when you're importing a car, you have to really know the grade, right? Sometimes you you get a, a grade on the auction sheet but you see when you're buying a car locally it might be hard for you to produce an auction sheet since most of the guys who are importing cars into Kenya wana import hizi gari in bulk so it's hard to get an auction sheet but through a good inspection you can always tell gari ilikuwa kwa accident ama gari ilifanyiwa ukarabati and that's why we tell you pre-purchase inspection and also know where you're buying your car from make sure you're buying the car from a reputable dealer and we at conversations can always advise you about you know we can always talk to you about some of the people we trust here in Mombasa and who we have worked with before and who will guarantee you quality and also warranties because we have had stories of uh, cars leaving Mombasa by the time in Africa boy gearbox kaput and you have to you know ukipigia uh, mwenye alikuzia na kuambia no 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 you buy you bought it as is where is basis so a relationship is always very important don't just come into Mombasa ufike pale muombe tayari ama SGR mchukuane na mtu hujui akupeleke mahali hujui then ununue gari ifike iharibike you know so yes the, the stories of having cars that are not good of good quality in in Mombasa is true and this applies not only in, in Mombasa hata Nairobi utanunua mkebe by the way so what you need to do is always have an expert and you know mechanics sometimes can be compromised always have somebody to to inspect that car somebody who is trusted to inspect that car and to assure you and guarantee you that it is not it does not have accident history so as also do random checks make sure it's not losing compression it is shifting gears you know some of these things and always insist for a warranty ambia mtu nikibechukua hii gari haribike are you going to guarantee me yes so talk to us we can really link you up with some of those dealers uh, 
there is also a very big elephant in the room about buying cars in Mombasa. Na watu being conned. You know, one of the biggest challenges that uh, we face as uh, consultants is wa Kenya wana kimbele mbele. Kimbele mbele, kimbele mbele. You know, and sorry for, for saying that because it's the truth. 90% of Kenyans who are conned in Mombasa ni sababu ya kimbele mbele. Okay, you go to Facebook, you find a particular Facebook page advertising cars for a price tag of 300 200,000 less than the market price. So, kwani huyo mtu anatengeneza magari zake so that he can sell to you cars that are foreign used for a price tag of 300,000 less than the market. So, you call unaambiwa hapana gari iko CFS tutumie deposit blah blah blah. Then you come to, to Mombasa you unapata gari ya iko mwenye ulitumia pesa hako so you see these facebook pages advertising cars with prices that are too good to be true please stay away from them sawa you know for instance probox unajua it's between 900 to a million or 950 to a million 980 to a million then you find a page selling the same probox for for 800,000 kenya shillings you know you should ask yourself some very difficult questions before you even commit but sasa juu ya wakenya kimbele mbele kimbele mbele nakuza wakabi probox inauza pesa ngapi 950 ah we una tugonga nimepata msemu mwingine mombasa na uza so my friends my friends kimbele mbele si mzuri sawa so these pages that are advertising cars with prices that are too good to be true please do stay away from them sawa sawa always go to any website you will see the price ranges also when you're buying cars on gigi and you find the gari iko Mombasa and you call somebody, somebody picks up and akwambia, okay, gari iko. For, for instance, you find a, a Mazda CX-5 that petrol that is being sold for 2.1 million. You call and ambiwa gari iko. You fly or you commute all the way to Mombasa, unakuja na ambiwa gari iliuzo. Happens a lot because most of the guys who are trying to do that online are trying to use, they want a bait. Once you come to Mombasa, they tell you, you know what, we are going to ile ile CX-5, we are back in 2.5. What happens? You waste time, you waste money, and uh, they try to lure you into buying, you know, cars from... Okay, I'm not saying, and this, this will bring me to the other issue that is brokers. I'm not saying brokers are bad people, but you need to get links with people who are honest and people who are commitment. I, committed i know we know a few who can help you to around mombasa to look for a car but that is why at conversations bado tunatafuta tunasema guys like uh, wasim of pirzada there are people who will you know who will serve they will arrange when you want to pick or collect a showroom one gari ukikupendeza ni sawa other than trying to go look for a stranger to take you around mombasa and you might end up get going getting into, into a very big mess now let's go to brokers Brokers are not bad people, and get me right, they are not bad people, but in every market, lazima kuwe na muenda wazimu. There are some mad people in every market. So, oh and to you if you get, that's why I'm saying, if you're getting a car in Mombasa, get people who know their way around Mombasa. Like, you know, one of them, conversations will always link you up directly to a showroom or to one of our correspondents here on ground or you can even go directly to us and make sure you deal with the show the showroom owners directly so that's that's something you really need to put into consideration and if you need any assistance please drop us a message i'm out to pigie simu if you don't find us just do us do us a whatsapp or a text we'll get back to you another thing about buying a car in mombasa is there is the story of theft that you buy a car tracker in awekoa then uh, they keep a spare key so that they, the, your car can be stolen later. Well, is that true? Partly. So these problems originate by people dealing with unscrupulous business people. And one of the reasons, or rather one of the ways how people get to deal with unscrupulous uh, business people or car dealers is because, yeah, again, kimbele mbele. You, get, you go, you see a post on Facebook, the price is too good to be true. Then you can get here and see, find the actual car, but you know, sometimes it all starts with how you get there. So always try and get, you see, a, a showroom that has a good reputation. Sawa sawa, deal with the management of the showroom. East or ingine higher purchase gari na eko a tracker. You don't expect to buy a car on higher purchase and the dealer does not put a tracker on it. Pia bank we a tracker skwa magari. But after you're done paying your, your debt, or rather your installments, wanakuja wanatoa tracker yao and you continue with life. 
Some people, kuna watu wameuzia watu woga sana that when you buy a car and hire purchase, they, had, they hide some trackers so that they can, they can come and steal them later. Well, you might find it's very hard for somebody to do that because we have honest dealers, we have, but uki deal na wakora, then what do you expect at the end of the day? So what are the experiences that you have had from buying a car in Mombasa? Lazima, lazima ukua ukona car experience. Now you can tell us you can tell us about it in the comments. And the unfortunate part about conmanship in the, the, the motor vehicle industry is that after you report your issue, most of the times your money will be gone, and uh, there will be nothing much that the police can do. So that is why we always advise you guys: you try and do some due diligence before you go to Mombasa to buy that car, or even you go to Nairobi. Remember, these cases are not only isolated in Mombasa. Hata Nairobi kuna wakora, wakora wako kila mahali. So an overview that I'll give you of before you go to buy a car in Mombasa. Number one, make sure you're using a specific dealer who is trusted and who has a reputation. If you cannot, then kama hujui any dealer, we can always link you up to one who is going to help you, to assist you, to at kuchukue, akupeleke kwa showroom. We can arrange for that. Secondly, remember these Facebook pages that are advertising cars at unrealistic prices, wachana nazo. Run away, wachana nazo kabisa. So if the vehicle is 300k less than the market price, those are red flags. Sawa, na wakenya tuache kimbele mbele. Okay? The other thing I'll have to tell you, if you have, if you do not know your way around, you know, doing some due diligence about a car that has been so that is being sold, always look for somebody. Mutafute mfanye some due diligence, mfanye pre-purchase inspection, make sure the car is of good quality and will not let you down. Also, always try to negotiate with a dealer for a warranty. Sawa sawa. That's also very important. So, as I told you guys, we are filming from uh, Piruzada Motors Mombasa. And do remember, we can always link you up with them uh, directly without any middlemen. Napo katikati. We can organize when you touchukuli wa bus station, when you touchukuli wa airport, ama SGR. Although, for us to do that, you have to be a really serious buyer. Unajua Kenya unaweza kundu unaweza kuwa na kuja Mombasa ziara. Sawa sawa. Also, higher purchase, uh, unaweza ongea na wasi, and he'll take you through that. We have pinned a number on uh, the link in the description below. Alafu pia kama unataka tukusaidia na pre-purchase inspection, or also some due diligence on cars in Mombasa, always give us a call or drop us a message. Na kitu ingine before I sign out, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Na pia cheza pale tiny pesa so that we can be able to continue bringing you some alluring automotive Content. I know you had missed talking heads. We are going to bring you quite a number. Tuambie, mnataka tuongele nini next. Sawa? Ova and out, uh, do follow me on my personal handles. Niluambia, uh, handle. Handle na idwanini na kiswaili. Yes, do follow us on our personal handles. Eric with a CK on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, do follow Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.